special edition of afternoon stories and this is from one of those library school houses yeah the public and this is called Lionel and Louise so let's take advantage this is from Okina Public Library and that's Lionel and Louise and look like it's the summertime listen we still have a couple days before summertime hits but something that I just spoke to someone very special it's about planting core memories especially in our young people and celebrating so okay let's go to this first one the rescue Lionel's big sister Louise was reading a book under her bed suddenly the door burst open Lionel came in he was wearing his sword I have come to rescue you from the castle tower said Sir Lionel she's like what are you talking about not now said louise i'm just getting to the good part i know a giant holding you prisoner said sir lionel he's big and strong and eats bones for breakfast louise buried her head in her book go away she said sir lionel looked around or maybe a witch has you under a spell he said she has a lumpy nose and shakes in her hair. She looks like she's pretty preoccupied. Louise shook her head. No witch is bothering me. Only you are bothering me. Sir Lionel stared at the window. A fly was buzzing against the glass. Look out, he cried. There's a dragon behind you. It has wings and sharp claws. Louise rolled her eyes. Do you mind, she said. I am trying to read. She had her summer reading list. How can you read, Sir Lionel said. The dragon may burn you to a crisp. He took out his sword. Do you want me to fight the dragon, he asked. Uh, Louise put down her book. She got off her bed and opened the window. Sir Lionel watched the dragon fly outside. He was pleased. I scared him away, he said, putting down his sword. You are safe now, big sister. Louise picked up her book. Does that mean you are leaving, she asked. Sir Lionel did not answer her. He was already gone. A busy night never stays in one place too long. Okay, so that's one story. And I was just listening on the radio, National Public Radio, about a story about teenagers having jobs at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and they delivered a mail by diving into the lake and pretty much swimming or taking the mail to the beachfront properties. And that's such a coveted part-time summer job. They're having fun and they're getting paid. Well, this is a story about being at the beach. Lionel and Louise were at the beach with their parents. Louise was swimming in the ocean. She always jumped right in. Lionel was waiting for the water to warm up. He filled his pail with wet sand and made a tower. Yeah, I think it's, it's really cool when people have the experience of jumping in the ocean. I don't swim in the ocean, but I think it's fun. Then he made three more towers and a wall to connect them. Louise came out of the water. What are you making, she asked. A sand castle. Sand castle, so Lionel, do you want help? Oh, now she wants to help little brother. Before, she didn't want to be bothered. <laughs> no, no, said Louise. I'm too grown up for such things. Lionel shrugged. Oh, he asked, do you want to help? So, yeah, she's still in her mode of, I'm too old for this. I'm too grown up. Lionel shrugged. He stared. He started the building, building an inner wall. And Louise watched him. 
the towers should be taller, she said. But she wants to give advice. Okay. Well, said Lionel, the waves here, said Louise. I'll show you. She built up the towers. That's better, she said. Now put little ridges on top. On top of the walls. There's no time, said Lionel. The waves. And maybe put in a village. Oh, look at this. Miss professional. Put in a village, said Louise. Think big. I don't know, said Lionel. The waves. Honestly, Lionel, said Louise. Just watch. Because she is professional, big sister, and knows everything. Louise scooped and dug all over the place. When she finished, she stuck a little stick in the tallest tower. That is a flag, she explained, the flag of Castle Louise. <laughs> it will stand forever. A wave lapped at the base of the wall. Some sand crumbled away. We are under attack, cried Louise. Lionel nodded. The tide is coming in, he said. We need a moat, said Louise. She quickly dug a long ditch. The next wave filled it in. The water felt good between Lionel's toes. He stood up and stretched. Where are you going, said Louise? In the ocean, said Lionel. The water is just right. You can't go now. What about saving my castle? Good luck, said Lionel. And he ran off into the water. Hey. So hopefully you're running off to do some fun stuff for the remainder of this beautiful day. Like I said, take advantage of the moments that you have and just create memories with young people and whoever's in your life. Good luck.